Hi, welcome back. Um, so I'm back. Should we really start it now? Can you hear me clearly now? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So guys, I'm here with Casey Kadamir, the boxer, today. Um, so I'll just uh, start by asking, should I just ask you a question? Um, well, whatever question you want to ask me now. Okay. What has been your hardest fight that you have won? Um, my hardest fight when the pro or in my whole career? My uh, your whole career. The hardest fight I've been in. Uh, um, it was in the amateur box. This kid, um, Kieran, I think it was Kieran. Was Kieran only or something? Really good box over there right now, but two or three deep in, in, in UK at that time. I was at 56 kg, and um, yeah, I'm a big, um, big four round of two minutes. At, um, at, um, what was it? Which region of it? It was a fight, man. We were both yeah. very young, and both. It was, that, was, that was a really tough fight, man. Yeah. Um. What is your diet like on fight week? On fight week, man, to be honest, like, the, um, the way I am, I'm, I mean, I used to box as an amateur at 59, then I'm moved down to 56, so I've never boxed a super flyweight as an amateur. And, uh, the pro, and when I'm, like, the fight week, like, I mean, one of the day, when I get, like, three, four days before the fight, and, and, no, sorry, when I get three days before my fight, I, I just, I'm, I just need more stuff. I have no main meal. And um, that's it, I just need more the days and small, small stuff. It's mainly like uh, salad, fruits. Uh, so it's not even a proper fruit. I don't even eat until I make the actual weight uh, on a fight weight. I'm not um, on the actual weight day, which is the type of one day before the fight. And on the fight day, by a fight day, I put some, like, about two kilo back on. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, it's, um, I'm not, my body. When I get to 54, I have literally no, um, I've got literally no fat. And then from 52 to 54 to 52, I'm burning muscles. So that's where the hardest part is. Um, yeah, that's where the hardest part is. And that's where I have to start eating less and training more harder to earn that extra two kilogram. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think you got unlucky with um, your uh, last fight because I, I, I had you a few rounds up. I thought you were really unlucky. Do you think you'll get the um, rematch? Um, I hope so. I mean, um, I had a, a it wasn't my best performance to be honest. Um, due to so much, so much pressure being on me, as a, you know, I was um, the way I was picked up by the BT and the way they they blew me up all, all of a sudden because the main main actual event um, dropped out, which was um, 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 I was in January uh, versus um, Cotanto, right? So that that came off. Of the only people they could concentrate was me uh, because of my story. So they kind of, within two weeks, they said they were going to build me up. There was so much video uh, like on my case, and it was, and, and suddenly, all of a sudden, that the pressure goes up on me that I have a good performance. And um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was, I just wasn't my day to get that day. I mean, it wasn't my best performance. And uh, hopefully, we we're definitely looking to get the rematch. I mean, the rematch will make more sense because. Um, for him, because obviously, you know, he was a, he was a close fight, and everyone wants to see that fight again, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, my next question is, do you get nervous before you walk out? I mean, to be honest, I don't get much of a nervous when I'm, you know, this is my first fight, I wasn't really nervous. Not due, due to my opponent, due to the, the fight I was, I was in, it was my first, but, but, uh, my first fight on BT, and... I'm all of a sudden the main event, and you know, just the pressure, the way, the, the way it was built up, I was very, very nervous. But yeah, this, this fight, I was very nervous. Yeah. What's it like without uh, without fans? You know, I, I, I try to think positively the, with the whole camp, it's going to be another day in the gym, and uh, yeah, it's going to be another day in the gym, just go with it, do my thing, but it's not, because uh, it was different, because the lights were bright. And you know you got a 
Bishop of Fire, and you know, you've got people, celebrities watching you from the around the night, even Josh Taylor went down the corner, so you've got all these yeah. official guys, it's a little bit different, you don't have your class. And, um, yeah, it was a bit, you know, also, because me and my coach were kind of known, so you know, the cut man, all the years before, my manager was thinking about that we trained or anything like that, I would call it, that would be that I had a problem with my manager, my coach, my main coach, um, we didn't know that we were going to, and, um, we couldn't get, you know, my coach was trying to have a slow. Because he was alone, I was alone, and stuff. It was a bit different. It was not used to being ourselves, I guess, that day. Yeah. Um, how did you get into the sport? Um, when I was very young, I used to, I used to, I used to hang around the wrong people. I was very young, and I, 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 I kind of become, like, I become very bad. Um, you know, I did bad things, but like, it wasn't good, you know. And the uh, fans wasn't happy, and you know, uh, so me and my couple of friends, we went to my local boxing gym, uh, which was uh, Club KO or Um It was run by an old turner. A very, um, so it was mainly a uh, live boxing club, but you had some pro fighters there though. And they had a couple of amateur boxers there, but they weren't registered to that club. They used to represent a different club. So um, we went there, yeah, first day we went there, and um, I got, I mean, this spot, this kid, you know, we just sit next to me, I was watching the amateur spot. Um, yes. The kid next to me and I respond and I was like, alright, cool. So we both bought a glass and the person was a very, very, I just ran towards him. I didn't book my just fight and then whatever I think five six five six or ten seconds, I opened my eyes realized I was on the floor, so I put the next hand to the floor for me. But yeah. Yeah. Um Um What age did you start boxing? Um age Who was your idol when you were a kid? No, um, well, when I was at the point where I was boxing, it was like Patrick Floyd. But before that, I mean, I always, I always, the only people that I really knew in boxing back then was Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. So I didn't, I didn't know any other boxers. Um, I didn't, I didn't know any other boxers apart from Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson until I actually started boxing. Um, so, yeah, when I started boxing, I was mainly excited to watch. I'm mainly known uh, for the Packer because they were doing so big in the, in the boxing game. And Floyd was coming out with this gym, was one of my favorite rappers at the time. And it was, it was, a, it was like that. Yeah, they were both top fighters. Yeah, at that time, yeah, she did what was this, for 2009, 8, maybe just who were you cheering for, Floyd Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao? Well, they were fine. Yeah. Just, um, I like both of them, so I mean, because um, I, I always just watch all my life, them too, not when I was in my boxing career, uh, when I was in my amateurs, and um, I was kind of, I want, to be honest, I wanted Pacquiao to win, uh, because of the way, you know, it would have been, he was a bit different in his life because he was the underdog as well and he was like, he went in the fight with his life, you know, because no one has been, no one has been a uh, Floyd, Floyd Mayweather, so it would have been different in fact he was doing that. But yeah, but I mean, um, yeah, so I just, um, sorry, um, so yeah, it was, um, I just wanted to get to be honest, but I, I, you know, I was still happy with Floyd Mayweather, it was like, yeah, but I would have been happy, more happy if I still won. Yeah, well, it was a good fight. Yeah. What is your favourite strike in boxing? Um, my favourite strike is, uh, I would say, um, you know, screw shots. I love screw shots. Um, you know, I, I get to be very list. I get to be very list uh, when I was um, in my last fight, but I love screw shots. They're very surprising. Yeah. My favourite's probably an uppercut. My favourite is an uppercut. I'm the uppercut. I'm the uppercut. I'm the uppercut. Sorry, um, yeah, um, what would you say? My, my favourite's probably an uppercut. An uppercut, yeah, uppercut is good. I mean, uppercut, uppercut, that is. I mean, school show is very similar to an uppercut, but it's more from, from a longer range. Yeah. Uppercut, yeah. Upp uppercut is very, it's a very nice show when you're buying so and that. Yeah. 
are you thinking of fighting in any other way in the future? I mean, you know, my, like I said, my, um, you know, I should have done, I mean, I lost the fight a few times, but even during the fight, uh, they were up for the, you know, my, my, uh, it was, it was, it was, a, it was you know, I thought, I thought if I could have stayed there and fought toe to toe, I think I would have performed better and I think I would have come over the top as I went on, but, you know, um, cause I, I mean, I, my main style was black fighting toe to back in the day, but as I returned to pro, I start thinking, oh, we did, because the gloves are smaller, eight ounces, there's no point getting punished from because it's going to last longer in, in the sports and you're going to have a healthier, um, healthier um, time in the future. You don't want to get caught with big shots, so um, try to avoid shots. And that's when I try to become a lot more um, elusive, you know, and, um, duck and dodge and then dig. But um, yeah, I just uh, thought it did it. The last five, we just sit there and, and just trade with him because I had a bit of competition whenever I was going for shots. Um, after the third round, um, yeah, and that, that, I thought if I could have stayed there and trade with him, um, I think I would, I would have done much better. But um, definitely, a rematch would be great. Uh, those, those, those are the things we're going to be looking a lot more into. Do you have any advice for people who are trying to get into boxing? Um, you know, um, what to just do it um, for fun, for hobby, or do you want to take it as a career? I mean, well, uh, just as I gave it for fitness, you know, it's, it's one of the best sports for fitness wise. Uh, because, um, you know, I mean, boxing, one, it will get you disciplined, it gets you humbled, um, it gets you fit if you, you, you want to become fitness, you're going to do it for fitness. And, um, but even career wise, if it's all up to you, the more harder you work, the, the higher chance you got to get to the top. I mean, nothing's impossible in boxing. It's all about you having the heart time and work. Yeah. Um, if um, you don't get your rematch um, with I Jazz, um, who would you fight next if you don't get your rematch? I mean, um, from the thing, the way things are going, obviously, it's got own personal um, life thing going on because I think he's getting married and got some other stuff with his family. So, um, we're looking at like, for example, him, if he does give us rematch, he'll probably give us in five months time, six months time maybe. Mm, we try to get a fight between it anyway. If not, then obviously get a fight in between it and fight from somewhere else. Um, just build up ourselves back up. I think it just, the, the COVID is putting a year, you know, our back. We kind of slack down as well. We ain't been active. And um, I think just to think, have a few, four, four more fights and then just see who's got a towel there and fight people with a towel. Uh, to get some girls back on, 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 our, on our ways. Yeah. Um, what do you do in your spare time? Oh, I just kind of have a family. I mean, we've got, um, we've got a lot of local business. My dad's got a lot of local business. Like, uh, so I, I go and uh, help my brothers and families and you know, pass my time around there. But um, uh, usually I'm with that. I'm always training. Every day I'm training twice a day. Uh, when, you know, even if I'm wearing cap, but right now, since my last fight, I've just taken the whole, so now I've been off, so I need to do the same way. So I'm only off, we'll be back to the gym much, back uh, to my normal self, and yeah. Um, this isn't a question aimed to all, well, it is, but um, is, who do you think will win, Billy Joe Saunders or Canelo? No, I, would, I would love uh, Billy Joe Saunders to win, to be honest, um, I would win because he's British. Uh, yeah. First of all, and you know, our guys, so I'll always be behind Big Joe Saunders, but it's going to be a very tough fight. You know? Like Tyson Fury said himself, he ain't been active, and he's yeah. fighting one of the best, I'll be fine right now, the best with Canelo. So it's going to be a very, very hard fight for Billy. Um, you know, very hard fight for Billy. I'll hope he it out, and I'll be rooting uh, for Billy, you know, um, he's British, and um, I'd love him to get the W against Canelo. But it's going to be a very, very, very difficult fight. Uh, he's been very inactive, so. Yeah. What's it like behind the scenes? Uh, behind the scenes of what books it? Yeah. Just normal, we know who guys and we all know what we like, you know, family and um, whatever it is. Like, uh, I have all my friends, you know, because uh, it's not as COVID, not much, but um, usually, kind of our friends, 
Okay, thank you. That's all my questions. Thank you, thank you for having me. Thank you. Goodbye.